I love this. Um, I love this New York apartment you moved into. I know it's nice. It's, it's fabulous. Great digs. I know. I love it. I actually love being in this building so much. We're in the same building. We're now. in the same building yes. now. See you in the elevator. I love. I'm. I, listen. I've had a milkshake burst in the elevator too. You're not. The I dropped. I dropped my matcha. It went matcha. everywhere. And listen. We've yeah. all done a Jackson Pollock in the building. I know. It was my first day, man. <laughs> It's it, beautiful. It's it, art. It was also on the ceiling. I think Andy, he caught it. <laughs> he, he was trying to be nice. It was everywhere. That's okay. I've actually never had a drink drop like that. Right. Yeah. Well, did it drop or did it rock it to the I sky? I swear to God, a ghost was in the elevator. I, yep. I was holding it uh -huh. and then I wasn't. Right. Like, and I was just standing there. No one bumped me. Like, spooky. Spooky. it just was like, welcome to the building. Yep. Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I trash things when I enter buildings. It's fine. Do you, have you ever had any mishaps here? Oh, definitely. Yeah. One time, uh, for a dry mishap, I, um, <laughs> uh, Rachel Maddow almost like, I almost, Rachel Maddow was trying to open the door for me once, this glass door, and then I kind of leaned into it too much. I could have broken through the glass and killed us both, and it would have been a, a gay scandal in the building. <laughs> <laughs> a specific us. scandal. Specific scandal. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the building? Because I had no idea like the underground situation yeah. happening here. It's, it's, it's amazing. Incredible. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, I have a clear favorite place in the building, and I took it upon myself to make a little video for you, oh, where well, I, 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 I have not seen it. this. What is it? it? Was I supposed to set it up? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, amazing. I literally <laughs> haven't seen it. So yes. Hi Kelly, welcome to 30 Rock. I'm gonna show you my favorite spot in the entire complex. Are you ready for it? It's the Dunkin' Donuts outside the subway. Every day I come into work, I order myself a small iced coffee, black, and not a donut, but a banana. So if anyone's wondering who on earth is buying the bananas at Dunkin' Donuts, it's me. Right here. I'm gonna do that right now. And welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. I'm judging you. Why? I am judging you. Who goes to Dunkin' Donuts for a damn banana? Oh. <laughs> I mean, anyone I am in the right mind. I'm walking out with something glazed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, the bananas are perfectly ripe. And look, if you buy them in, in bulk, if you buy multiple, <laughs> Put them at home, and then once they go soft, you like make banana bread. Sam's clubbing it at Dunkin' Donuts. You're getting buying them bulk. I like it. <laughs> yep. So this is exciting. So Bad Bunny is on SNL this yes. week, hosting and musical guest, yeah. right? Yeah. Because been on, but never hosted, right? Been on, but never hosted. You know, he was uh, he played a pirate in a sketch that I was yeah. in when he was musical guest, and he was amazing as a pirate. Okay, good. Good. And which I think I can extrapolate to mean that he would be amazing in any other capacity as well. You I'm can so nail excited. pirate. You yep. can nail it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's the New York of sketch rules. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> I heard, too, recently, I didn't get to see it, but I've heard everybody talking about it. When Taylor surprised oh. and Kelsey was on there as yeah. well. Was that, I mean, because that's hilarious how hilarious. the commentators, it's not hilarious how it is literally taking over the NFL for people that like watching sports now. And, and like, but you have to watch like a, 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 a tutorial It's on like you're watching Housewives while you're right. watching. Yeah, they're just talking about gossip things and you're like, so what about the play? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I, I can only but they're it. taking over. Right. Yeah, I Definitely. thought it was funny that y'all, that's what I love about SNL. Y'all touch on it like right then. It's so awesome that it's live and you're able to like attack those things like at, on the weekends, like right when it happens. Right. Yeah. It, it was crazy. Like we, no one Thank told us. Thank them for fresh them. material. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> Travis and Taylor, for that. Yes. Um, it was, it was, it was so wild. We didn't expect them to come. I round the corner. They're at the page desk and it's like, I'm like, oh, there's two of the tallest people I've ever seen. Who are they? Right. Who is that? I was like, I was like in the Redwood Forest or something. <laughs> the Mirror Woods. Yes, yes. And then I was like, oh my goodness, wow, it's them. Okay, they're here. And it was it was wild. Oh, I love it. So you went to her heiress tour, right? Yes, I went to okay. her. Yeah. I wasn't able to make it. So I, I I imagine it was just, first of all, it's such a clever idea to do that and have everybody go, because there's so much nostalgia happening for people that have been fans for so long. Yep. Where you, have you been a fan for like a, a minute? I've been a fan for a a Long minute, a long. Were minute. Were you afraid to say decade? You guys, <laughs> and it's wait, it's been about a decade because I really, yeah. I, I latched on during Red. Oh, great album! Yeah, yeah, yeah. great album. Um, no, so it's 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 been a minute, and yeah. um, you know we've 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 all grown up with her. Yeah. And so it's it's it was so cool. I watched it from the floor, and then with Matt, Matt, my friend Matt yeah. Rogers, and I went, Hilarious. and then we, and then but then seeing the eras 
tour movie. Yeah, because the incredible. movie came out. Yes, yeah, the movie came out, and it was everywhere. I literally ate at a restaurant here uh -huh. downstairs, and we were leaving. Caitlin, who is serving us, was like, "Hey, and I made these bracelets," and she said something, and for the debut or something, and I was like. I just went along with it. I was like, thank you. <laughs> that is so nice. And then I walked off and we were like, what are they talking about? And they were, the, people are so into it. They were making, people just randos are making like bracelets, yep. passing them out to like, she's got such an incredible street team. I know. I was like, yeah. It's really amazing. But yeah, so the movie came out and it like busted all these like, you records know, stats and records. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Which is not shocking. It's Taylor. Not at all. Yeah, not but all. I love that you've been a fan for so long. Yeah, I think we're, we've all been a fan of her music. She's a great writer. Like, Absolutely. she's got so many great songs. Yeah. That was a look at his new movie. Dick, the musical is in theaters everywhere. Explain the movie. <laughs> okay, it is a very adult take on the parent trap, but it's a musical. Don't bring your kids, please. An adult <laughs> take on the parent trap. Yes, yes. Okay. So these two businessmen meet each other at work. They find out they're separated twins uh, from birth. They plot to bring their parents back together. I'm sort of the narrator, kind of like a Rocky Horror Picture yeah. situation where I'm narrating as God, the You Almighty. get to play God. I get to play God. And then you yeah. had Alanis Morissette on earlier. I know, she's played God. She's played, yeah. It's me, Alanis, Morgan Freeman, George Burns. We're the, <laughs> we're the Sex and the City girls of God. The Mount Rushmore. Those could not be more different people. That's <laughs> I know. incredible. That's pretty, pretty Everyone strange. could be God. I like it. Everyone could Joan be God. Joan Osborne was right. Um, so, <laughs> so music, if you're, yeah, under 40, you don't get it. Um, so wait, so did you always like musicals growing up? Were you into musicals? Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course, absolutely. Like, it's it's just. Do you remember your first one you saw that you really loved? I think I think my first one I saw was probably The Sound of Music. And okay, good. Undeniable. Oh, yeah, give it up. Sound of Music. Um, no, I, I was just, I think it was like Sound of Music for me and also Funny Girl. I don't know which one I oh, saw first, but those goodness. were the, and I was like, this is incredible. Yes, yeah. right? It's yeah. undeniably good. And then yeah. like, I just, I would take out like literally anything I could find from the library, like Wicked and um, <laughs> I, I can't think of anything else. That's the only music. Your, your age, your age is shining through and Wicked was one of your inspirations. <laughs> I, was. I was like, wait, I was like, that was so, wait, have you ever played, did you play a court jester? Did I hear? I, like I was the jester's understudy in Once Upon a Mattress. Oh, <laughs> but wait, so that's, that's always, that's always hurt me because you have because oh. I had to do um, we in, in, in high school we, we were there's a double cast it's complicated right right and right. I learned all this music uh -huh. and it wasn't understudy but it was like double cast which really was understudy because sure. I only got one show I'm pretty sure and Big you learned school, all that you learned stuff. all the stuff for one night uh, for oh yeah. I was like it was a lot yeah it yeah. literally was like one performance and it was like you that, do you get is there a little anger that a resentment that you learn no. all of that? No, are you lying? I'm lying. Okay, because because <laughs> I learned all this stuff and it was so much. I I just felt like. Do you pray that they get sick? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're about to show no, girls. I, I wouldn't either. I mean, just one, like a little cold, you know, oh, just, just a one. little cold for one time. A yeah. In the throat. It's a lot of material to learn. It is. Okay, yeah. was it double cast because they just wanted to make everybody happy, like all the kids happy at school? We'll go with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll huh. go with that. I mean, yeah. gosh, I'm sure they're kicking themselves now, like, oh, we only gave Kelly Clarkson one no. night on stage. It wasn't about me. <laughs> it was. Seven brides or seven brothers. So that's oh. a huge it, double cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It taught me a lot, like yeah. about just working hard, just because you love it. Um, <laughs> Quote unquote. We saw this photo though. This is little Bowen, and I just think it's adorable. Oh. So like, wait, like, what birthday is this? You're this so is, cute. I think this is five. I think I'm five. What's years your old. cake? Do you remember? I, think I was it, trying to figure it out. It looks like maybe like um. Dollar Store Power Rangers or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, we, we couldn't tell. Like, like the producers of the show and I were Dollar like, Store. We were like, what is that? And like, they didn't know, obviously. And I was like, I don't think I know either. But I'm. I, if you look, if you look at that photo, I am using my full cheek power. Yes. Look at that. We're, I know, but I was convinced if I didn't blow them all out in one breath, my wish was null and void. Oh, yeah. I yeah. still think that. Yeah, me that too. Not. I am 41, <laughs> spitting on cake. Yep, I am like. Yep. It's like a full on, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna miss out on my wish. Right. Um, yeah. I heard this as well, which is kind of odd to me. Your math teacher got you into comedy. Did. What is the, how does that, how does that how work? How does that happen? How does that work? Um, you're a very funny math teacher? He was a very funny math teacher. So okay. He was, he was cool, he moonlit as um, uh, an assistant director at a comedy theater in Denver, oh. Colorado. So okay, it this was, tracks, it, it, okay. It, it, it tracks, right, and he, okay. and like the, the sort of, crown jewel of being in the drama club at our 
you know, big public high school was being on the improv group. Yeah. There were only like eight people. It was not a double cast situation. Yeah. And you were important. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, ex but you know, you couldn't audition if you were a freshman. You had to wait till your sophomore year. I didn't get in in my sophomore year. And then I got in my junior. It was this oh. whole saga. And then I um, happened to be good at math um, with my glasses. <laughs> and <laughs> And then, and then, like I was, I was a good student, and I was a good, you know, oh. little improv kid. But you know, I was 14 years old, going downtown, like bombing in front of beer drinkers. It was so strange. But it's that's kind of awesome, though. It probably built up so much character and like and and uh, armor. You know what totally. I'm saying? To be able to take the hecklers, to be oh, able to yeah. take all that. Yeah. I mean, it's not to bring in your personal history. Like I can't imagine like being on like a national slash world stage is like in my early exposure as a performer. Like that for you, that's like. Well, a lot. imagine you have. Have no money, no house. You're living in your car, uh -uh. <laughs> and you're like, sure. <laughs> you're like, like, yeah. I think that helps, though. I'm, oh, I'm being wow. funny, but like, I do think that helps. Like, when people say, "Are your kids gonna get in the industry?" I'm like, I don't really know, man. If they can handle it. Like, when you, when you have nothing, you have nothing to lose. So it's uh, like, you know, you go for anything and say yes totally. to everything. Totally. Yeah. So I think it's maybe a little bravery, maybe just like I needed to pay my bills. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. That, that, that'll do it. Yeah, did For you sure. have those moments in this industry? Because nobody really makes it like right off the bat. Like everybody yeah. thinks Idol was the first thing I ever did. Of course. Of I lived course. on a mattress and an apartment <laughs> and whatever. Right. But like it's, but did you have those moments where you're like, is this gonna hit? Am oh I yeah, I mean, yeah. I, did you ever have like, you know, ramen noodle weeks or um, anything? Uh, um, I'm sorry, did I live on it? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> By They're the way, like still love this stuff. Thirty-nine cents a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my daughter's obsessed with it, uh, she... and I feel like a bad parent no. giving it to her. No, no, like, no. Look how yeah. I turned out. Well, we I... can afford. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No, I do. I feel like a bad parent. I'm like, I should probably cook you something else, but she loves it. She loves this. Stuff. Put a yeah. crack an egg in it. Put some scallions. It's, it's oh, lovely. fancy. Yeah. Meanwhile, my son eats anything the color of your shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Me too. <laughs> yeah, he's. I'm like, cool bread. Uh, let's do another break, everybody. Bowen's movie, Dicks. The musical is in theaters nationwide and the soundtrack is also available now.